Okay, everyone, how you doing? Uh, let's hope this works. Anyways, this is going to be a bit of a longer video because I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys have been asking me since, you know, this is a Q&A video. So I wanted to make sure that I get as many questions as I can and hope you enjoy the video. And I'm going to be starting from the bottom to the top of this list. So I'm going to be answering questions and reacting in real time. Or at least I'm just going through these now. Okay. First questions by Little Donut. I'm going to put it on screen. Don't worry. Do you like cookies? Um, heck yes. Have you been to my server? That's the only thing I joke about all the time. Like, no, seriously. I do really like cookies. I can't eat them as often as I used to. Because there are certain foods that nowadays kind of make my stomach upset. And cookies are one of them, so as much as I joke about them and joke loving them, I can't eat them as often as I used to, so, yeah. Next, we have is by Wolfie Wolf. Name sounds familiar for some reason. But anyway, if you ship, what is your favorite ship out of some of the fandoms you're into? Well, good thing you asked, dear fellow viewer. Well, I'm in a few fandoms. Not too many. Uh, Edworld, of course. I pretty much like a lot of different things. I'm a multi-shipper. There's not really any ships I don't like. Well, Tom Ed's my least favorite, but I do kind of like it. But there's, like, the only few ships I don't, I just can't get behind are, like, self cessed and future cessed and things like that. And Eduardo X Ed, I just can't do it. I'm sorry. If you like it, that's your... Opinion, but for me, it actually physically makes me angry. It's the only ship that actually physically makes me mad. If I see it, it just, blah, I can't do it. Even if the art's really good. Because actually I have some of it. Some of the ship art saved because the art itself's really good. But it makes me angry every time I see it. And it makes me feel bad. I'm like, oh, I feel bad because this person's great art is making me mad. You know? Uh. Then there's South Park. I like the only ships I like are Style and uh no Style Creek and Bunny. That's it. That's all I got for um South Park because I don't really ship much in South Park. Um, I like Invader Zim. I ship Div uh Div and Zim a bit, just a tiny little bit, because some friends have been getting me into it. I guess I don't know. Zim and Div. Come on, that's it's good stuff. Um, what else? Uh, Cuphead? Oh yeah, Cuphead. I like Ghost Blossom, because I actually haven't made anything of Ghost Blossom on this channel. I might, and I probably am going to later, because I am I love that so much. <laughs> it's just a gay flower and a gay ghost. Come on, man. We, everyone likes that. Oh, well, even though there's a few people who kind of get triggered by it, so I have to be careful. You know. Careful. And sorry if I'm talking a bit quiet, by the way. My throat kind of hurts, so... Yee. Okay. Next. Actually, this one I didn't hear about at first. It was by Sei no Neko Kun. It says, hey, did you know the hiatus yesterday at the EU Amino about the Dear Starboy movie production? I actually heard about the production of that movie, but I didn't... The only thing I heard about it was that um, people were hating on it. Because not everybody likes Dear Starboy, and that's fine. For me, I'm kind of neutral on it. Like, I like Tord's design for that AU, I guess, but... Eh, the story's alright. It's nothing too earth-shattering, but... The movie itself, I don't know much about it, so... If you care to fill me in, that would be very, very nice of you. If email, go away, I don't want to work at Chipotle. <laughs> Literally just says job alerts. <laughs> but anyway, Chipotle aside, let's go to the next question. Next question is by Maria Reynolds. Do you do you know how many fandoms you're in? Can you name some, please? How many I'm in? I don't know them by number, but I can tell you the ones I'm in actively, and then I can tell you the ones I'm in, but like inactively. <clears throat> I'm mostly active in. Uh, Cuphead, South Park, Ed's World, FNAF, very little bit active in that one. Um, what else? Invader Zim, did I just say that? 
my friend just got me into My Hero Academia, so I'm kind of getting into that. And, um, yeah, that's the main active ones. As for inactive, I'd be, like, Undertale, because I was never really in the fandom, but I was, like, inactive. I'd never really contributed much. So I'm kind of a, a very inactive. Um, the MLP fandom and, uh, I don't know, Spongebob, because I was in the fandom, like, or actively in it. Like, that was before I got DA and all that stuff. I would, like, do my own private stuff, I guess. And I have some art of it that I don't really want to share, though. Because, eh. You know, eh. Yeah. Okay, next. By Starry's stuff. Do you know the anime Food Wars? If so, who's your favorite character and dish? I have another question, but I'll ask you on Discord. They asked me that question already. But as for Food Wars, I don't know what it is. Like, no, I don't. I, I've never heard of it. Sorry. Okay, next we have the four-year-old kid asking, Have you ever had a tracer before or anything? I think that's supposed to be or, because they put on anything. Oh wait, or tracer on anything? Aww. I'll just answer the question there, because I'm not going to try to <coughs> read. My brain is dead, I can't read. Anyways, n I think like one person's traced my art before. A few people have reposted it, but they got their accounts taken down. And actually, not even if, um, last month on Edward Amino, I have two, I'm on two Ed's World Aminos, the main one and then the smaller one that my friends put together, and they asked me to be there. I posted um, a Tom drawing on there that I didn't want to post on the main, because I was like, eh, I don't feel like posting this, and I don't think it's really good enough to be posted on there. I didn't post it anywhere else, well, I did post it on DeviantArt, but that was like a few days later, I think. And I ended up finding out, or someone came to me on my profile on the main and said, Hey, did you know, is this art yours? It looks like yours. Somebody reposted it. And I'm like, oh, heck nah. And then, yeah, it was the same Tom drawing. I'm like, how did you even get a hold of this? Are you on that other Amino or something? They eventually took the art down or they, they got a curator. Or no, no, a curator is watching me or following me. That's how we got them taken down faster. It was because someone, the, one of the curators is following me. So that was easy, but nothing really too bad. Not like the no big crystally type situations or anything. <laughs> crystally. <laughs> so many rants. But yeah, no, nothing too bad really. Like here situation here and there. But okay. And hey, it's my boy, the Tord the Nugget. I mean Tord Nugget, what am I to do one? Tord Nugget saying asking, hmm, what's your favorite meme, mate? Um I actually don't know what my favorite meme is. If you mean animation meme, ah. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if I have a favorite, actually. Yeah, I'll just go with the don't talk meme, I guess. Because that one's nice. Yeah. Still feel bad for, for Sinandria, though. Uh, rude memers these days. Anyway, don't not getting down this time though. No. Nah, not get into, into the sad mode. Let's continue onwards. <clears throat> What's your favorite Ed's World ship? Oh boy, fam, you're probably new here, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you're probably new here. <laughs> yeah, you can tell people are new. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I won't. Oh yeah, I forgot to say their names. Hot in underscore chocolate. But yeah, my boy, hot chocolate. I'm the Tommiest Tord of the Tom Tord lovers, man. I'm the Tom Tord King. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Seriously, just look at my old videos. It's nothing but Tom Tord, man. Actually, no, 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 funny story. Um, not even yesterday, my brother was going through um some of the videos or the views. Like he was looking at the most popular ones, and I I'm like, hey, you're on my channel. He's like, yeah, I'm just looking at your most popular uploads. And he's like, oh, this one has 40k. What's this one? I'm like, don't speak of it. Literally, that's what I told him. I said, don't speak of it. And he's like, but it's got a lot of views. Don't speak of it. And then we moved on. <laughs> the look on his face, though, he was like, uh, is this an illegal video or something? Did, you, did you make some crack videos or something? I don't know. <laughs> his face was just priceless. Uh, it was beautiful. 
No, right. Continuing here. And sorry, the recording got messed up for a second. Next questions by Tiger Lily the Warrior. Do you like Ed's World anime? I know it's not a thing, but pretend it is. Yes, ten out of ten. Ye. Next is by the Pink Gamer colon three. Oh well. Question, why are you so diddly dang good at art? Lies. Uh-huh, I'm sorry, child. Someone has lied to you or given you misinformation. Uh-huh, I am a talented. No, go watch OK. He's talented, not me. Ugh. Uh, I remember the days when I actually felt good about myself. That was a long, long time ago, children. No, seriously, back when I first started, I kind of felt a bit better about my art. Now it's... Uh. Anyway, continuing is next is by Nissi C. Who are you inspired by? Like, who got you into drawing? Well, I have a few inspirations, like people who inspire me nowadays and motivate me to keep going in art. Who got me started? Actually, <clears throat> I remember who it was. I remember who, exactly who it is. And I'm still following them to this day, actually. So, back in the days of, I think, 2014 or 2013. I think 2013, because I was always a year younger than everybody else. Like, nowadays, people are 19 and I'm still 18. Wait, no, no. Wait. Oh, fuck, I forget it. Four years ago. Think of that. Four years ago. I was planning to go to a normal high school with other people from my middle school. And, like, it's just the traditional high school that we all went to. My big brother went there, my big sister graduated from there, and me and my little brother were expecting to go there as well. My brother's going there now. Maybe. They might be transferring him. But I thought I was next in line to go there. And I was like, yay, not only will I be continuing the high school legacy, I'll be getting to see some of the people I've met. Over the years, and I found out actually recently that some of the people from even elementary school that I know go there now, or went there, which is weird. Hmm. Some of them were dicks to me. And best if I didn't go, I would have ripped their heads off. <laughs> anyway, basically, when it kind of hurt me when my mom told me I couldn't go to the school. For many reasons. One, the school is like a gang house. I, we later found that out, that everything around the school is just pure sketch and pure danger. And, like, there's a lot of fights, uh, drugs and things like that. And my mom didn't want me to go there. And it wasn't really very arts-oriented. Because at the time, my mom wanted me to go to an art school. And she eventually dragged me to one. To be a singer, because for the past eight years, I think, ever since I was eight years old, well, actually, no, that'd be ten years, actually, now. But yeah, for the past, well, no, yeah, just let's, let's just say since I was eight. Since I was eight years old, my mom was training me to be a singer, because back in the days, I really wanted to be one, like her, because she makes her own music, she sings as well, and is way more talented than I am at singing, and when she found out I could sing... She immediately started training me. Like, it wasn't a, you can sing, now you're going to be a singer for the rest of your life type thing. She, it was like, mommy, I want to be a singer like you. And she's like, oh my gosh, let's get to work. And it was, it was a nice time. Even though it was kind of difficult for me because I have really bad stage, stage fright. So I had a lot of issues. Well, at least when I was, at first, when we first started the training, I was okay because I didn't really have... I had an okay self-esteem back then. I was okay. Like, you know, I didn't feel too bad about myself. I was just normal. Until later on, then my whatever little bit of self-esteem I had flies right out the window. So, yeah. And anyway, back to this. Um, because she wanted me to be a singer, she signed me up for this school that was nearby, an art school. And at first, she had to drag me there kicking and screaming. Because I literally did not want to go. I wanted to go to Thunderbird. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Did I just say the name of the school? Oh, wait. There's several schools in the country named that. You can't find me. I think, like, only a few people know where I actually am. Because one of them, a few are actually in the same state as me. But, yeah. Try and find me, suckers. 
and it'd be very easy because I'm kind of easy to tell where I am. You can point me out in the crowd. But anyways, so I wanted to go to that school, but my mom's like, no, 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 honey, you are not going to that school. You're going to this one over here. I'm like, but mommy, no, you are going to be a singer at this school over here. Okay. And when I first came, went to the school, I didn't know anyone. Like, I was I was one of the very new fresh meat there. Like, because this school was from kindergarten to 12th grade. So, a lot of the people there were, like, OG students who've been there since, like, 4th grade. And some of the people I eventually met said that they had been there since, like, 6th grade or 2nd grade or even longer than that. And I felt kind of weird being one of the only few people who, like, just stepped foot into the place. And, like, you can tell, be like, hey, do you see that person over there? I've never seen them before my 17 years of being in the war. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I just felt so out of place. And um, But I did meet this one person. Let's call them, uh, Blairy. Yeah, yeah, Blairy. <laughs> but anyway, Blairy was the first person to really talk to me. And get me acquainted with the school because I had never been there and I didn't know anybody. And they literally just walked up to me and were like, hey, you're new here, right? And I'm like, um, yeah. And they are the ones who introduced me to a few people. And actually, a person they were friends with was an artist. Like, for me, I would never seen someone who could draw before, before that point. To me, artists were, like, cool, otherworldly people. Like, if I were to ever see one, I'm like, actually, no, that's what happened when I first met this person. Let's name the... I should know. I'll use their real name, Tatum. Because I don't think I can even link their um their Instagram be below, too. Because, yeah, I still follow them. But when I first met Tatum, I was like, oh, they're an artist? Oh, my God. <laughs> I just They were, like, another worldly person to me. I'm like... Like, they're like an alien or a species I'd never known before. And what to top it off, they're talented as heck. Like, I could just see, I just watched them draw and I was like, oh my god, what the hell is this? They drew, like, anthropomorphic mice and things like that. And I know one of their characters they drew for me, and I had it on a little piece of paper, and I kept it, but I lost it, but I do have a picture of it somewhere. It was the, he's the sweetest little bean ever, and I don't think they draw the character much anymore. But over the course of that first year, I was spending time with them and watching them draw and watching them just do their thing. And I was like, hey, if Tatum can do it, maybe I can do it too. And that was also around the time I started watching YouTube more and I saw Markiplier for the first time as well. And I think, yeah, that was back when he was playing FNAF. Mm, yeah, I think. I know the first video, of, no, 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 the first video of him I ever saw was, um, this is not a game. Or, like, there's no, yeah, there's no game here. So, yeah, that was, it was around the time I just started finding new people like him, crazy is crazy, people like that. And I got into the FNAF fandom. That's when I started really drawing. Because I started this mini, like, with Tatum being an inspiration and me watching them and watching what they do, I tried doing it myself and applying it to the mini comics I was doing with FNAF, which the f comics I do have inspire the AU that I have today that I need to revamp that comic because it's bonkers. Every, like, literally, the whole concept's just freaking weird, and it's great, and I just love weird or strange AUs, even if they don't make sense canonically. <laughs> That's just my, how I roll. But anyways, and over time, as I started doing more of these FNAF comics that I do have in a huge tote, like, I have all that old art in a tote, and no one has ever touched it, and I'll never let anyone see it or touch it ever again, only for my eyes, man. I might be brave enough to share some of it someday, but just not right now. But anyway, over time, I started getting more and more into the art, and... When I really got into it was when I made my first OC, which was named Agua, Aquamarine, who I still have and I'm still working on them because 
I made a meme with them, the one meme that Ed Doodles made um, a way long time ago, back when I didn't know that you had to separate the character from the background, and the character would move with the background. I tried editing it and zooming it in. It was, it was really bad, but I did try. That was back when I got Vegas for the first time. Oh, it was good. Or was it Vegas? Or was it something else? I can't remember, but ah, oh, good times. And ever since then, ever since I made Alphago, I started making more OCs, I started drawing more. And when I got into Ed's World, that's also when my love of art got even bigger, because with FNAF, I would draw it, and, like, it was a side thing, you know? Because with FNAF, when I was in that era, because I still kind of like, I still like FNAF still, but back when I was doing all the comics and stuff and making my AU, I, um, but back then I just... Art was a side thing, and the main thing I was really passionate about was, you know, singing. And FNAF and drawing was a side thing, and making OCs was a side thing. But once I started getting into Ed's world, that's when art started to become more than just a hobby for me. Especially when I started animating Ed's world and stuff like that, and started getting into memes again. I mean, I was always into memes, but when I started really doing them or having the ability to do them... That's when I really, my love of art went past hobby, went past being a hobby. And I, it's pretty much, I'm too stuck in this hole as of now, so, um, yeah. If it weren't for Tatum, I really wouldn't have even considered art at all. I thought I'd just, I just never considered it until I met them, so, Yeah. And I will be linking them in the description if I can, because I have to go find their Instagram again. They always change the name, but you should really go check them out. They're still really good. Really, really good. Man. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along. Let's get keep this going. I don't want to slow this down. Okay, because this video is going to be long. Okay, by Crystal Fur 2017 3. How did you get into Ed's World? This one's pretty easy. Well, I first started seeing Ed's World around on DeviantArt around October of uh, 2016. Like, a few months after the end. That was around when I started to see it. Because people started making art of it, and I started to be like, Whoa, all my favorite FNAF artists are actually going to this whatever Ed's World this thing is. And yet, oh, of course, I had the greatest English back then. But no, seriously, a lot of the FNAF artists I knew back then turned to Ed's World. And other fandoms, and I was like, what the heck? What is this thing? What? What is this thing everyone's drawing? What is it? I don't understand. And I'm, I remember seeing the first picture or drawing of Tom, and I'm like, where's this guy's freaking eyes at? What is this? Is this an OC or something? Is this an OC everybody's drawing? What is going on? And I was too lazy to look it up, and I was too lazy to look into it at the time. I was like, uh, it's probably gonna go away eventually. FNAF will be back. But I was like, one day I was, um, I don't even remember what I was watching. I was just watching some stuff, and the end part one came in my recommended, and I'm like, Ed's World, why does that sound so familiar? And I'm like, oh, is this the thing everybody's drawing? Hmm, maybe I could check it out. I mean, I'm the only one out of the loop. Eh. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, fine, I'll check this out. And I, the second I clicked that video, my soul was gone. Literally. Like, even me reacting to it the first time with my family, they're like, what the hell are you watching? And I'm like, I'm watching Jesus' animations. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no. But no, the second I watched that episode, it was over. It was done. My soul was gone. I had already sold my soul to the devil. <laughs> it was over. <laughs> oh, it was good times, and I forced my sister and mom to watch it with me. And now they like it too, but not as much as I do. And they still don't understand why I like Tom Tord so much. <laughs> oh, they're like it's, they're just two characters, man. Well, why do you like putting them together? Cause I can. That's why. Even my little god sister knows I like Tom Tord, and she's like, "Is that Tom Tord?" Yeah. Ah, oh, you like that so much. Come on, man. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Another question by Wolfie the Wolf. Wolfie Wolf. Wait, I could have sworn you just asked a question. Oh, yeah, you did. You just asked another one. Okay. They asked, what's my favorite candy? Reese's, because I like peanut butter stuff. 
or at least chocolate and peanut butter stuff. Yay. Have Okay, next is by Luigi Gamer. Hey, my dude. The question is, have you read Homestuck? I tried. I tried reading Homestuck. I did, because I know my bud Tired Eddie Studios is into it and a few other people I know, and I was like, hey, what's the deal with this? And I was like, maybe I could look into it, and I'd, I tried reading a little bit of it, but I just got bored. I'm sorry. Uh, it takes a lot to get grab my attention with books and stuff and stories and comics. It just takes a lot to get my attention. And Homestuck didn't really get my attention. Sorry, my dude. Okay, next is by Hubby, H- Honey Lavender. They asked, do you remember Hannah from the Edsel Amino veterans? And yes, that is you. Hi. <laughs> what am I doing? This one, um, well, actually, no, this one's more of a comment. By Space Blue 315 they said, I'm kind of bothered by your ear- art's ears. I actually tried making the ears smaller for my style, but I'm like, they actually fit with the way I do it. Like, you know, there are certain styles people can make certain parts of the body exaggerated, and with mine, it works because of the way I do proportions, I guess, but I'm trying to do fix my proportions. I do it, I use references and junk like that. And I try to use references the best I can, especially when it comes to body shape. When it comes to the ears, just the way I draw the head, it makes it look... It looks better. It looks... I don't know. It just works for me. For others, it doesn't, and it bothers them, but for me and a lot of the people who watch my stuff, they say it works. I might change it later on again, because I was kind of liking it, having the ears smaller, and I try doing the ears a bit smaller each time I draw something. But for now, it works, I guess. Unless my style does dramatic change, I think... Eh, the ears will stay, sorry. But no, it was this question right here I had to answer. Because <laughs> it makes me laugh and cry. It was, it's by Sharkman Gaming Blogs and more. Do you remember when you ranted on Digby the Goat and told your mom? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, looking back on that, I laugh every time. Because I realized how much of a child I was. I mean, literally, I went and told my mom about what happened. Because I was like, Mom, do you see all these mean people on the internet? (laughs) Why? What was I thinking? Just like I was, what was I thinking the day I found out that he responded to me? I was literally on a bus and I started recording on my way home on this walkway I always went through. And I was like, why the fuck did I post this? Why the fuck am I, what what, what was I doing? Oh, I was such a cringe lord back then. Oh, good times. The next one was by Outer Ink, but I already answered their question in the comments. Because my reply is long. And I really don't want to get too into it. But they were just talking about, or asking about why people ship Tom Tord. And how they're kind of describing it like ships are dancing on Ed's grave and something like and stuff like that. I just didn't want to respond to it in the video, but I do want to mention it. But I replied, just go to the video where I, the the original Q&A video in the comments, I already replied to it. Because, yeah, I'm not going on a huge rampage about that. Because, you know, eh. Anyway, next is, next question is by Living with Aaron. It says, hi, a video by some dude that was critiquing you propped in my recommended, and all I have to say is that you have, have amazing content. I really like the stuff you make, and I hope you start making things I like it soon. You are the subscriber. Peace. Aw, thanks. E. And I actually need to check out the channel. Eh. But see, lots of people. It's like everyone comes from Digby, man. It's like, oh, well, I saw you from Digby. <coughs> well, thanks for the views, man. <coughs> next. is Next is by Wolfie the Floof Wolf. Is Edward Om. Oh, meh. I don't, I can't speak. They're saying, oh, oh, oh my freaking gosh, who's your favorite character? Mine is Ed and Tom and Tord and Matt Frick. <laughs> so you like them all. Yay. As favorite, it's still Tom, though. Even though I draw Tord way too much, he's my second favorite. Tom's always going to be my favorite. I don't know. Eh. Yeet. Uh. Okay, next question. by Blue Hoodie 12. 
One, gives you a hug. Yay, me like hugs. Two, I don't mean to be rude or anything. Are you transgender? I'm just confused because when I go through your fan art, I see people who'd like to draw you as a girl. Well, my persona started out as one. And I, like, Master J used to have much longer hair and much more feminine, feminine features. But I try to dumb it down to make it more androgynous. But nah, it does look like a girl, doesn't it? Still. <clears throat> but yes, I am one. Uh, I haven't told my family or anything. I plan to when I leave for school, but yeah, just... Yeah, that's why I go by he and him now. I used to be a girl back then. Like, a few... Like, a, yeah, a few months ago. It was like the beginning of this year is when I started really considering the whole transgender thing. So... It's alright if I got quiet there. I just don't like talking about it when I'm... <clears throat> so I'll make sure nobody's around when I say that. So they don't be like, you're trans? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm still keeping it on the down low. At least for a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay, next up is by Shut Up You Diseased Rat. <laughs> Look at that name, makes me laugh. Have you seen Digby the Goat's response to one of your videos? If so, what were your thoughts? Yes. Oh, yes. I've already seen it. <laughs> oh, trust me. I've seen it. Many times. <clears throat> and what's weird is that I, when I, after I realized all the shit that I had gotten myself into, I actually realized I deserved that video. I mentioned it before in an apology that I'll probably, um, what was it? I'll probably unlist it soon. The reason, the only reason I unlisted it was because my mom was checking through my channel and I didn't want her to see it. And I mentioned some stuff in there that I didn't want to tell her. Which I'll enlist it soon, no worry. But in that apology, I mentioned how I felt like I deserved that video. Because, yeah, I was being a little bitch back then. Being too sensitive. And that's why also I'm kind of, I always get kind of scared about talking or giving my opinions on things I like now. Because I get too passionate about it. Hence why I also skipped the Tom Tord question is because if I actually answered it... I would get way too angry or get too riled up. That's why I have to always be careful when I talk about stuff that that means a lot to me is because I'll get a bit irritated sometimes. And yeah, that's the, what basically I think the whole situation was, was just me getting too irritated and not even thinking that Diggy was joking around throughout the video. The video itself actually wasn't bad. It was just me being a little bitch. And, the only re and also, the main reason I made the video was because they mentioned someone that I knew back then. Now I don't really associate with them. But back then, they were a friend of mine, and they, they had mentioned their meme that they had made. And I was like, hey, you can't do that. You can't talk about my friend like that. Which, yeah, like I said, I don't even associate with that person anymore. A few people don't. I'm not mentioning who it is, but they're popular, and I watch their stuff sometimes, but I don't really like them as much anymore. They've been involved in a lot of crap and messing with people I know, too, and <clears throat> getting too into it. But I basically threw myself into the line of fire just because someone insulted a friend of mine, or at least mentioned them. And I was, it was stupid to begin with. It was too stupid for me to even retaliate. And like, I mean, the friend could have defended themselves anyways if they wanted to. But you know me. Trying to be a good friend, help them out, but hey, who cares? Eh. Ah, no, not getting depressing here. I'm sorry. Gotta keep it upbeat. Blech. Anyway, I'll let's um continue on before I blech, get the sadness. Next is by Bunnabell Draws. Hey, Bunny, Bun Bell, Boo, Bop, Be Bop, Boo, Bop, Be Bop. Is Nebby a furry? Yes, Nebby is. It's confirmed. I'm just kidding, I don't know. Ask Nebby. Why are you asking me? Belle, why are you asking me? Me. 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 Blech. Alright, next question is by Quizzyland. Let me smash. Who inspired you to draw? No, sorry, can't smash. Taken. And already answered the question before, but I guess this one came before. I don't know why I liked it again. Who cares? I answered the question. No smashing. Small, the next small potato, 
Uh, uh, come back. Yeah, my bud Small Potato asks, how do you feel about anime? I'm sorry, it's too soon. I'll leave by. <laughs> nice Lenny face, my dude. Honestly, I love anime. Are you kidding me? My brother is the one who got me into it. It's the first anime I ever saw was Dragon Ball Z, and that's still my favorite anime of all time. No one can tell me otherwise. And actually, not even um, a few days from this recording, I should be getting my own set of Dragon Balls, like crystal ones, which I'll talk about why I, I want them later. Because someone kind of makes a question, so I'll explain in a second. The next question. Blech. But yeah. Me, like, and the moo. Woo woo. Next question. Are you into DBH? At first, I didn't know what the heck this was. I thought it was some type of TV show everyone was talking about. But apparently it's a game that, jo that Jacksepticeye plays called Detroit Becomes Human, I think? And that may actually, I'm actually surprised I haven't heard of it. Especially if Jacksepticeye's played it, because I fucking love Jack. And I love all the stuff he does. Maybe it was some videos I missed. Maybe it's because they were an hour and I just skipped them. Because I'll be honest, sometimes I don't watch videos that are an hour long. So I probably did skip it and I probably didn't see it. So I'm, I might check it out, maybe. If my brain can get past the hour. Maybe it will be entertaining enough for my hour. Like, when I watched Markiplier play Cuphead, I didn't get bored then, only because I really liked the game. So, eh, we'll see if I get into it. Eh. Next question is by Yaship. Am I hot? Yes. Hot as the sunny day. I don't know. I'm sorry. Next question is by Fluff Doodles. How did you find your style? Was it any certain inspirations you may have? Hmm. I'm inspired by... F well, actually, no. It's not any specific artist, really. Um, I know I'm inspired by a lot of people on Tumblr and DeviantArt, but no specific person. And how I st found my style right now was... Well, basically, it's the circle tool that saved the day. Because before, I used to draw faces just manually. I would try to draw them as round as I can, and I would always fail because I use a trackpad, and it's hard to draw any circular or shape thing without the program helping you. But when I found out about the circle tool, or at least tried it out, it made my fa the faces I do a lot rounder, and it made them look really nice. And I've been using that ever since, and I know people are going to get mad at me like, you use the circle tool? Yes, yes I do. It's not like I use it for the whole drawing, it's only the head, and then I go from there. And for me, I like the way I, I can get- I'm fine with the way I draw bodies and stuff like that. It's always the heads that make, that give my style its distinctiveness. Like, the way I draw a person's face is the way- Like, you can tell my style changes when the character's face looks different. That's why with all my old art, like- Certain proportions are the same, the way I draw certain things are the same, just the face is what's different. That's why I say, oh, I changed my style. Because for me, this, the whole style revolves around the face, for me. If the face doesn't work with the rest of it, I will be sad. Ugh. So, yeah, the face does it all. But as for artists specifically, I don't have any specific ones. Anyway, next question is by Spooky Thomas. Ooh, spoopy. Can you adopt me? Well, I guess I legally could now. I mean, a few months- if you asked me this a few months ago, I could say no, I can't, legally can't. But I actually could. Hmm. If only I wanted kids, because I don't really want any right now. But internet adopt, yes. Yee. Next question is by Trashy, which is kind of similar to the question they asked before, before about tracing. Asking if anyone's ever stolen my art, and yeah. On DA and EU Amino, but it's usually easy to get them taken down for me. At least the few times that have the few times it has happened. All right, Express no wait, Depresso .exe asked, "How'd you get into animation?" Well, most well, the channel that officially got me into animation was well, uh, oh, crazy is crazy, and um. Their name used to be, um, uh, what was it? Ah, damn it. I know, I know their name. They're friends with, they're friends with Mark. Ah, come on, think, think. 
Uh, Corporal Shepherd. That's what their name used to be, but I can't remember what their new name is now. Uh, Flugger Nugget, Fluffer Nugget. They keep changing it. But no, his original name was Corporal Shepherd, and he used to be friend. He's friends with Mark. They've done videos together, and they're the FNAF people. Now they do more different things. Well, except for um, Corporal, he does FNAF stuff still. He has a series that he's trying to end right now. But besides that, um, they're the two main people who got me into animation, or at least showed me that anyone could do it. Because for me, back then, I thought that if you didn't work with a like a company that you couldn't animate until I saw their channels and it really got me into it, you know? Yeah, because yeah, back then I thought you only had to have a degree to animate anything. Uh-huh, yay. And what's weird is that Mark, Crazy is Crazy, or Mark, actually follows me now. And I'm like, what the heckle? How did I deserve that? Like, literally, he watches my stuff all the time. And he says he really likes I know he said one time he really liked the stuff I do, and he even noted me on DA saying that he saw some of the art I made for him, and he's like, yeah, I really appreciate it. And then I die inside. <laughs> um, okay. Next question's by SCP, the 66 Shibi. Yay, my dude. Also, they're a mod on my server. Yay! They said, hi, I'm pretty sure you know me. Yes, I do. What's your favorite animation meme? Just curious. Like I said before, I'm just gonna say the don't talk meme because I don't know, I don't really have a specific favorite. So yee, yee yeet. Okay, next. Perry Forever asks, have any projects you're working on at the moment? Well, yes, actually. I have a series I'm still trying to work on Daybreak, which it's getting a bit hard for me. Not for, like, not getting the stuff together. It's my motivation, basically. I'm supposed to be working on the next short, but due to a lot of emotional stuff that's going on with me right now, I haven't completely finished it. I have all the, I have all the audio. I have everything I need. To, I just need to get the actual art done, and I want to actually try to animate with this short. As the first one, it was just still frames. This one, I actually want to animate. But I just haven't had the motivation recently. And I've been working on some commissions and old stuff that I've been owing for quite a while now. Even some memes that people have been waiting a year for. Because I didn't... Honestly, for the animation stuff, I just... I always push it back. But I'm trying not to. Because I always fear, like, people have waited this long for me to do something. What if it's not good? Or what if they don't like it and want a refund? You know? I try to take my time with it, but I'm trying my best not to put it to the back. Like I'm still doing sketches of their stuff right now, but that's my main fear is that I finish it and they're like, what the crap is this? This is why I waited for a year? You know? But, eh, yeah. That and there's another concept for a show I actually put up on a DA that I'll talk about more later. Like, I know that I got the idea for it when I was listening to this one song, an old 90s song, um... I forgot who it's by. It's by Cherry Something. But it's like, the song's basically about a rock star guy who turns to jazz. No, 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 it's disco. It's a really old song. You should know it. Um, oh, no, it's like, play that funky music, I think. It's like, because that's the type of music my parents listen to is 90s stuff, and I like it, too. And I was just listening to it, and I was like, huh, the concept of a rock star guy going out of his comfort zone and listening to another genre and playing another genre. That's interesting. And I got the idea of this show where basically you're born into a genre. Like, your parents are artists of a genre, you're born into that genre, and you must become an artist of that genre. And the main character, who I don't have their name yet, was born into the rock star genre. His parents are popular rock stars, and he just, he's expected to carry on the tradition of rock stariness. And... He doesn't feel happy with playing rock music. He wants more out of life, you know? And then he meets this guy and his sister who are disco buds. And they are like, hey, you want to join the disco crew? And I know I'm basically... It's basically like he they invite him to join. And also this is something I'm going to add to the journal. Because I actually thought of this a few days ago and I forgot to edit it. Basically, the two disco peoples are like, hey, we're starting our own little group where we're gonna 
teach each other our genres are gonna, you know, like, basically, they're trying to intermingle. Usually, that's not allowed in this society, where you're not allowed to learn other genres, not le allowed to play other types of music. And these people are coming together like, hey, we don't care about the rules. We're gonna, p or the social norms. We're gonna play whatever we want, and we're gonna learn new things, and we're gonna improve as artists. And the president of this country hasn't, who's basically the pop star Donald Trump, <laughs> I guess she kind of is who's learning about this little uprising and is trying to put a stop to it and it's good and fun I'm gonna be adding more stuff to the concept but I actually really like it honestly I'm gonna add more stuff to it and I'm definitely gonna need some help with writing and stuff to make sure it's you know series doesn't suck but it's something I'm planning too it'd be like a musical show like do you guys remember when Lupus Volupus had their own musical series before it got canceled? It was, um, uh, what was it? Audience. You know that? It's basically like that. Or at least it's gonna be formatted that way. Where it's like, it's a cartoon, but there's, like, music involved. And I myself can write lyrics, but I just can't write music, so I wouldn't need help with that if you wanna, if you're interested, anyone. If you're good with music, I'd hit me up, man, but... Until I get the first short of Daybreak done, I'm not going to start asking for casting calls. Because then, if I do, then I'll need people who can not only act, or at least do a role, but I need someone, people who can sing, too. And I might do a role myself, but I don't know. Because I can sing a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> the years of training out the window. But yeah, those are the project projects I have right now. Besides that, nothing really else. And some memes. Meme practice. Meme, gotta do those memes. Yeet. Okay, next question by Rafia Sucks. I, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> do you prefer drawing or animating? You can't choose both. Hmm. I do love both, but I'd say drawing a bit more, only because it takes less of my motivation, I guess? Because for animating, it takes a lot of my energy. It's so hard to get the motivation to animate, and once I lose it, it's gone. And it takes a while to get back. Like, no, I'll give you an example. Um, like, a few weeks ago, I had um, the motivation I had motivation to animate another meme. I'm like, hey, I haven't done a meme in a while. Why not do one? And I saw the Everything Black meme, and I was... I had all the frames done, or at least some of them. It, like, the beginning part, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this Ed's World, man. I'm gonna do Tom. Let's do it. And I got halfway done with the meme, and I just lost all motivation. I couldn't... I just couldn't finish it. I just, it just looked bad to me. I just couldn't finish it. And I just gave up. And I'm still giving up. It's still in my unfinished vids folder, but I might pick it up someday or restart it, but right now I just don't got it. As for drawing, I can, like, get an idea and just scribble it down and be done. Or at least it just takes less motivation to get to draw. Like, I want to draw, I just don't have ideas sometimes. And when I get an idea, I throw it down, and it's done. Like, the um, Dib and Zim drawings I did yesterday. I just threw them together, and then bam, done. Relaxing. So yeah, I guess I would say drawing only because it takes less energy from me. Okay, next question's by Ender, Ender's Dark Crystal 690. Hey, Ender. Hi. Anyway, said, okay, I'm trying to ask a question, so I want to know, what do you think of the fan some of the fandoms, like Ed's World, Invader Zim, Bati uh, bleh, Bendy and the Ink Machine, or other fandoms? I don't know much about um, the Invader Zim fandom, honestly. I don't know much. South Park, the only thing I see is people drawing the kids as uh, adults, which is fine. You do you, and the NSW, which I don't care. As long as they're, you draw them in their adult form when you do it, please. Because I hear there's been some pictures and stuff are surfacing of people not drawing them as adults and they're still drawing NXW. What the fuck is that? Oh, I thought I was going nuts. But anyway, there's been stuff going around saying that people draw the characters and draw NSW of them, but they aren't adults. Like, they're, they're normal age. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. That's um, kind of creepy, and isn't that illegal? But yeah, I don't really care. And, uh, some of the other fandoms, they're not really as bad. Cuphead, they say that's bad, but 
I don't know. I haven't seen much badness besides self the cup test. Yeah, so I don't really see anything too bad. It's only Ed's world that's really become an issue. That okay, I'll mention it. Um, for me, I know the fandom's fucked up. I know it by now. And for me, even if the fandom's bad, it I just can't leave it. You know. With all the people leaving the fandom, it's a lot of fucked up shit. Um, people getting mad over shipping and stuff like that. And stuff that's happened in the past, they don't want to associate with the fandom anymore because of it. I just don't have that ability. When I join a fandom, I am in. And I don't ever leave. I can become inactive in the fandom, but I'll never announce that I'm leaving it. Because I just can't do it. I don't have the strength or the capacity to actually leave one. So even if I wanted to leave the Edsworld fandom, I can't. Because my heart is stuck here. Like, I get too sentimental. Especially with fandoms. Even ones that I'm not active in, I could just leave at any time. I just don't, because I'm too sentimental. So, as much as people will say that the fandom's fucked, which I know it is, a lot of fucked up shit is happening. Like, heck, there was even a, someone told me that there was an Instagram account for, dead, for Ed's corpse or something. Like, I couldn't get a link to it, but they were, like, doing asks for Ed's corpse, like, hey, ask his corpse, man. Shit like that. I know it happens, and I know a lot of other fucked up shit happens, but huh, I'm too far in, man. There's nothing you can do to save me. Yeah. But for me, most of the fandoms I'm in, I haven't seen the bad side of them, except for Ed's world. And I'm pretty much too far into the fandom to even get out. <laughs> they lock the door on me. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I'm, yeah. Just, I think there's still hope for the fandom. For me, I say Ed's World's like, uh, about a 6.5 out of 10. No, 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 5.6 out of 10. We're getting there. But I think that nowadays, since more episodes are coming out, people are actually coming together more, I guess? Like, back before when we thought the show was over for good, everyone just started to dissociate with each other. Like, they started drifting apart, like... Drama and fighting and junk. But nowadays, I see a lot of people coming together. Trying to make the fandom better. Because Edgeworld's coming back. And we have Matt, still. And, I don't know. I guess we want to make Matt proud. It's, yeah, you know, like, after all this crap that's been going on. We want to try to make the fandom as nice as possible. And to show Matt the appreciation that we have for him. And me especially. Like... Actually, today I was supposed to make some art for his anniversary, but I never got a chance to. Like, with him and his wife, people are making, are sweet enough to make art for him and his wife as condolences and apologies for the people who have been messing with them. And, you know, you know the fandom's really trying to come around when, after people have harassed your wife, they are making art for you. You know? We're really trying to turn things around. I can see people are really trying to turn things around. And I hope it does work. Our next questions about... Do you watch B-H-N-A-M-H-A? -A? If so, who's your favorite character? Which at first I had to look that up. No, do you mean My Little Hero, my Hero Academia? Yes, I kind of do. I, my friend got me into it, and, um... I just... I just fucking have the name in my head. Because for me, the show's great so far. I'm in season two. I just can't remember the names of the freaking characters because they're long. That's the only reason. I just can't. Usually with Japanese names, I can get them pretty easily. But for some reason, I can't. I just can't fucking. It's Bakugo. That's what it was. Yes. Yes. Him. You know, fire guy. Sweats. And his fire can. His sweat can explode. You know that guy. The guy who's constantly angry and tries to punch uh, Deku's head off, you know? The guy who's like, hey, you lied to me. You you fucking had a quirk, you idiot. I'm the best. I have the best, strongest quirk in the universe. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, that guy. He's good. Yay. I need to watch the rest of the seasons. Because I'm still behind. Ray's ahead of me. And yes, Ray, I said you, Ray. Ray, Ray, you know who you are, Ray. 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 Anyway, next question is by 104 AMM. Can I hug you? Do you have a favorite anime? Do you want to Ezra all over the world? Do, can I jump in the cat with you? <laughs> One, yes, I like hugs. Two, Dragon Ball Z. 
Three, yes, all over the world in, can I jump in the CAC? I don't have a CAC. Do you have a CAC? I don't have one. Sorry. I broke my CAC last week. Next question, who would win in a fight with Tom's World Matt or Tom's World Ed? If you're talking about the old Tom's World, Tom's World to Matt, probably. But if you're talking about my new, the new Ed's, um, actually no, I didn't explain this. I might make a full, um, I might make a full video talking about this, but I would need Rainy to make one too, so I can confirm. So you guys will believe me, because some of you guys might not believe me. For some of you guys who know, Tom's World isn't really a thing anymore. Or Ray's opened- I mean, why did I say Ray? Fuck. Rainy opened up the Tom's World, um, idea, I guess? They are just like, Tom's World's open, here you go. You can make your own versions. And, uh, Rainy told me, and confirmed with me, I'll make a full video confirming this later, that I can use the old designs. And I'm changing up the personalities and things like that. I'm... You can look at my DA if you want to for that, but... Yeah, I'm setting up the new Tom's world. And I'm, I actually might make episodes, but people might need to help me. Help me with that, if I do. Because I'm still not too sure. And the new concepts I have, or at least for the character personalities, I really like. And I've had friends help me out with it too, to make sure that everything's cool. But yeah, I'll make a video completely talking about each of their personalities and things like that and where I'm going from here, things like that. But yeah, if you're talking about the normal Tom's World, it's Matt. Tom's World Matt will always win, because what has Ed got? Um, I don't know. What is it? What does he have? He doesn't have any guns. <laughs> but anyway, continuing. The next question is by Citron. Do you want to jump in the CAC? I don't have a CAC. Why is everyone asking me about the CAC? I don't have one, okay? Mine was killed in a, a horrific accident, okay? Okay. And here's the last question I'll be answering for now, and I actually asked myself this one, is, do you collect anything like charms, books, etc., you faggot? I'll ask this myself because I do want to answer and talk about it, since a few people know about my special collection. Basically, if you're in my Discord server, you should know about this, because I even have a own de my own designated room for this. So basically... I like gems. Like, I like them a heck of a lot. I like normal gems, but I like the ones that are round. Like, they take the material and, like, shit, like, map, like, make it into an orb form, basically. Like, they'll take a peridot and make it round. Like, actually, no, I'm getting a peridot soon. But I have a whole, I'm starting a collection of round gems. And what I have so far is, um, a white opalite, a red jade, um, a cherry quartz. Did I say rose quartz already? A lapis. Um, a black obsidian. A black onyx. What else? Um, light blue. Yeah, light blue quartz. Clear quartz. Um, amethyst. And a couple other things. And I'm getting a few more. Um, wait, let me look at my list see what else I'm um, getting. I know in a few days I'm getting a... Uh, hold up. A Peridot, an Afghan Jade, and a Red Jade. A bigger Red Jade. Remember how I said I was ordering Dragon Balls? Well, I found glass. I found a cheap... Like, it was only like $11. Because it was on sale. But it's like a whole 7-pack of the Dragon Balls. Cl they're clear orbs. And because they fall into the whole clear and orbal thing I like. Because I like round, clear, or shiny things. It's... It's basically a dream come true, and like I said before, I love Dragon Ball Z, so having these in the next few days is like, oh my god, can I can I summon Shenron? Like, I wish that Dragon Ball Z was real so I could cr give Krillin a hug, please. Because seriously, if there wasn't, like, no, the only three people I would give hugs are Goku, Vegeta, and Krillin. Forget all you. I love them. No, Krillin's the best, Vegeta's adorable, at times, of course. And then Goku's just the- he's just the biggest teddy bear, man. And yes, I said Vegeta's adorable. Not like, oh, he's so sexy or something like that. No, like, whenever he's not being serious or whenever he's not in a fight, he's just the sweetest guy. He tries to act all tough. He can't do it. He's so sweet. Oh my god. Uh, I'm getting a weird dork over here, but yeah.
Actually, I might put a picture up somewhere, I think on my DA, of my gem collection of what I have so far. And, um, yeah, that's, um, all the questions I have for right now, uh, and I can't really add any more questions or ask any, I might open another Q&A later, but for now, this one, this is the last few questions, last question I'll answer for now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and have a good day, yay, whoop whoop.